The Smithsonian National Museum of American History is a celebration of our country's memory. The surface has collapsed. As manager of preservation services, Richard Barton's job is ensuring these treasures are never neglected. And he'll never forget what his training in the Buffalo State Art Conservation Program has meant to his career. Because I learned all these different materials, how they're made, how they deteriorate, the mechanisms of deterioration, now that I'm managing three conservation labs, I need all that information to help myself do my job. So what are you going to do with the hand? Do they when I'm talking to our costume conservator and we're talking about silk or rayon, having that background has really helped me. When we're treating Thomas Jefferson's Bible, I need to understand how ink corrodes, iron gall ink corrodes, how the papers change, how the leather on the binding makes a difference. Richard is assisting paper conservators in a condition assessment in order to treat the Bible's fragile status. He took an English, French, Greek, and Latin translations of the Bible, cut out the passages that uh, he thought were important for uh, Jefferson's sense of morality, and made his own personal copy of the Bible of what he believed in. He's responsible for the care of over three million objects, everything from the monumentally historic to the monumentally hysterical, and all stops in between. Richard was also very involved in the museum's massive renovation project, particularly in the construction and design of materials used in new exhibition cases. It's a pretty neat object. For the former objects conservator, the gunboat Philadelphia is the ultimate object. The Revolutionary War vessel was built in 1776 and sank that year during a battle on Lake Champlain. It was excavated from the depths in 1935, eventually ending up in the American History Museum's collection in 1964. In some ways, this object is structurally stable, but the surface is not. So we have more work to do on determining what we can do to preserve the surface. Whether we use the lubricant, heat, I think you're going to get something get affecting the finish and we're going to have to deal with that. I mean, I Richard frequently that. consults with Cooperstown graduate, objects conservator Beth Richwine. History never stops and neither does her workload. It's very high paced <laughs> and people always want stuff and the phone sometimes is ringing off the hook and I can't like get my treatment work done as much as I'd like. But she does, with unerring precision. Before Beth got her hands on them, a pair of Joe Lewis's boxing gloves were down for the count. The original condition of this, they were hard, they were terribly moldy, so moldy in fact that the stitching is completely degraded, and the lining that was here, there's just little bits and pieces of it left. It's a challenge for me to try to figure out what to do with this thing. I like materials and I like to think of them in terms of the materials and how can I use those and what can I do to make it better. The Smithsonian Institution takes a great deal of pride in the work of their conservators. So much so that over at the American Art Museum and National Portrait Gallery, the Lunder Conservation Center gives the public an open view of five different treatment labs. American Art Museum paper conservator Kate Maynard frequently is called upon to give tours. Now here in this setting at the Lunder Conservation Center in particular, um, I've enjoyed the interaction with the public and in presenting the work that we do. Preserving America's cultural heritage is a real charge. Of course working for the Smithsonian is wonderful, but in particular having worked for a collection of American art for all these years is really inspiring. Oh, it's fun because I get to work on a big variety and I get to work on you know, American icons. Our work in conservation allows us to connect with every artist whose work we treat, whether they're famous or not famous. It means a lot. There's a uh, personal connection one can have. That is a special feeling that conservators get. And that's, that's pretty cool.